In all of the previous classic tween examples so far, I've been showing you how to animate the position of an object. But when working with classic tweens, there are other properties that you can animate as well. Here in part 7 of this video series, I'll show you how to animate the size of an object using a classic tween. Let's begin. Let's first draw the shape and convert it into a symbol. Next, let's add another keyframe. So on this keyframe, I'm going to change the circle's size and make it bigger. Make sure that your playhead is on this second keyframe and make sure that the circle is selected. Right now, my circle isn't selected, so I'm just going to click on it once using the selection tool. Remember to just do a single click when you select it. Do not double click on it. Being an instance of a symbol, if you double click on it like so, then it's going to bring you into the symbol editing mode. So this means that the timeline that you see here is the symbol's internal timeline. This is no longer the main timeline, which is supposed to be where I was going to put the tween. The reason that I'm explaining this is because based on my experience, I've seen a lot of people mess up their tweens this way. They double click on an instance by mistake and end up working in the wrong timeline. So their tweens don't come out the way they want them to. So always be careful with this. Okay, so now let's go back to the main timeline. And with the circle now selected, go to the toolbar and select the free transform tool. Once you have it selected, you'll see these adjustment handles appear on the corners and the sides of the object's bounding box. To resize the object, place your mouse pointer over any of these adjustment handles. I'm going to position mine here on the upper right corner. You'll see the pointer turn into a double-headed arrow. Then click and drag to resize the object. You can hold down the shift key while dragging so that it stays in the shape of a perfect circle. So now we have a bigger circle. On the first keyframe, the circle is smaller. So when we add the classic tween, it's going to start off like this and will begin to grow until it reaches this size. So let's add the classic tween. Before you continue, make sure that the scaling property is activated. Click anywhere on the classic tween, then go to the properties inspector. Under the tweening properties, make sure that scale is checked. And now, the animation is complete. 